welcome back to the channel so this is number three installment on the 1956 Ford Fairlane Victoria build and I have a lot of things in paint uh, example of things I painted that is almost all I painted the valve covers that are black but not uh, flat or semi-gloss they are supposed to be uh, gloss black so I painted, painted them let's see if it will focus yes it will Here we are. So those are the valve covers. I also painted the parts that are supposed to be uh, steel and uh, argent, like the front splash pan, the drive shaft. The carburetor is still waiting to be slightly tinted uh, gold. Here's the exhaust manifold. Here's the other exhaust manifold. And I left this joint here on top. This molding parting line here because the real exhaust manifolds have a casting joint right there. So it would be incorrect if they were just smoothed out. And believe me, I know. As I have a I have a Ford Galaxy with a 292Y block. Uh, here's the air cleaner. And I opened the little hole in the front of the air cleaner. Just to be a little more realistic, this is with one piece that I'm going to add to the kit. That is the uh, brake master cylinder that is not included with the kit, and this is a a resin uh, brake mast cylinder that I I made. It's a copy from one I had in my parts box, and I decided to make copies of them. Of that part instead of using because once in a while I use my brain if I use it in this car I will be out of brake master cylinders to spare here are the semi gloss black parts here you can see the, the wheel backs the License plate holder uh, place and the generator, the front steering system with the brakes and the spindles, uh, the blower motor and the rear end. Still have to paint the gear carrier here, uh, red oxide. And we also have the battery and the shock absorbers. And I also painted the engine. Uh, first thing I did to the engine was to paint it all uh, steel. And this steel color here is uh, Revell steel, it's acrylic. And then I used some Tamiya tape to, to mask the gearbox and painted the engine with a Ford engine bread. And I have this little mark here on the oil pan 
where I'll have to scrape the paint to glue the engine to the to the frame. And also painted the dash. It was first painted with with Tamiya paint. Uh, it's uh, racing. It's racing white. And then I used some Tamiya tape and and masked the area that will remain white and painted the interior red. And I mixed uh, a slightly different shade of red than the red I used on the body. That is the the original Ford color because I know the interior is not exactly the same color on the real car the, I gave the doors the inner doors the, the very same treatment here on the sides they are black because it represents the structure of the door on the real car and here it's also uh, Tamiya Racing White and over that I sprayed the red and um, when it was all finished I gave this those parts here and here uh, semi-gloss clear to give the appearance of a brand new vinyl and here we have the interior Here you can see where there was, looking from the underside, you can see the division where the front and the back of the seats are glued together, but here on top you can't see it. And uh, I'm quite satisfied with how the seats turned out. I did the same thing to the interior tub. Here you can see the markings of the Tamiya tape on the sides. And I'm quite happy with that. I used some carpeting on the, on the floor. And I didn't use flocking because I can I can't produce a decent result with flocking. I used uh, this material right here. It's quite uh, a very nice representation of what carpet would be in 125 scale, and there's paper in the back here. You just have to cut it in, in, in sections and then glue the sections to your car. And I wasn't going to actually use carpeting, but I forgot to send off the automatic transmission uh, brake pedal that's here. And the car has a manual transmission, so I thought I would hide that brake pedal that's not supposed to be here with some carpeting. And well, here it is. Oops. My camera almost went down. Almost! Uh, back to this material here. I don't know how it's called in the US or in England or in the rest of the world or whatever but I'm sure you guys will tell me here in Brazil it's called papel camurça and it's some very it's very cheap and you can get it in any color you want and I always use this stuff to make carpeting when I am in the mood to do so and in this car I kind of was 
And here we have the final big piece that was painted, that is the floor pan and chassis. And what I did here was uh, I gave it a coat of, of primer to protect the plastic from the automotive paint. And the actual floor pan was painted with a Ford primer that is kind of a reddish brown and after painting this floor pan reddish brown I used the the black to paint the to paint the overspray here on the sides this camera is crappy and no I won't buy another because kits are very very expensive here and I don't have spare cash to buy a camera a better one Okay. The underside, the underside of the interior tub also has overspray, but it's red. It will show true when we assemble the car. It will show true more or less here. As the firewall of the Ford is red so the tunnel here the transmission tunnel will have would have uh, red overspray instead of black because the firewall is red and finally the tires I'm out of uh, resin tires the ones I make for myself with the separate uh, white walls so what I did was to get one of those AMT white wall tire sets that come with white line tires and white white walls I think my camera just broke no so I bought one of those sets of tires that come with this and this white walls right and since the white wall is in the wrong side of the tire, because, hey, no name, no name here, but the tires have the Firestone logo on the other side, so I painted a white wall on the other side. And here we have the proper logos. And I will be using those tires, a set of those tires on the Ford, instead of using the my usual resin tires, just because I'm out of resin tires, I have to I have to make more. But I'm kind of lazy to make more now. I think it will focus on the frame now. Yay! See, you can see where I did the overspray in black. I still have to paint the frame itself semi gloss black, and I will, I will do this with a brush. I still have to paint the exhaust, 
the fuel tank and the parking um, the parking brake uh, cables. So there is a lot of detail painting still to be done here on the on the dash on the doors and here on the interior tub well here there is the worst part of all that is to actually foiling those side panels here because there is a chrome stripe here and one here on the real car this upper one is easy you just have to make a, a stripes a, a little stripe and put it here but the this here is kind of tricky because to use the knife here not the best this is the part I don't like of building this kit and talking about foil I still have to foil everything so the 56 Ford is progressing yes uh, as fast as I wanted uh, no no because I was distracted by a little problem with my car that needed the carburetor clean it since I I foiled it on the gas station I never was before when I was traveling and the foil I I put on my Galaxy I traveled with the car all right and then the car sat in the garage for a week and it just wouldn't start anymore I, I took the carburetor apart and the foil had turned it into jelly inside the carburetor so yeah it was it was bad and I, I hate having to to open the carburetor without a good reason but yeah there was a good reason there and other than that I also had to fix my roof here because I had a leak so the the Ford stayed and touched for well for some time but now we are going and i think i'll have this car ready maybe next week someday next week i hope but uh, um, i'll do my best to do a video a follow-up video with the all parts painted with the detail paint on the chassis with the detail paint on the on the on the dash with the detail on the on the doors on the interior with the engine built and well you guys got the idea a, a, a last uh, video before uh, putting all the parts together I'll try to do that and of course the final will be the the car done and I hope to have this car done by the end of the week that starts today that's sunday i hope to have this car done oh guys uh, thanks a lot for watching as always feel free to comment uh, and ask uh, everything you want and i thank you guys for being faithful and for following my builds and have a great week and till next time bye bye